Okay, so hi there, Sagittarius, Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your December 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from InTheStarsBrightQuincy.com. Now, before anything else, I just want to remind you guys that this is a general reading, so it may or may not tune in to each and every Sagittarius people out there, so just keep that in mind as we go along. So... Sagittarius. Now, Sagittarius is really on the highlight this month. This is your month. And in just a few days, we are actually going to have a total solar eclipse happening in your sign. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of shifts, a lot of changes that is to be expected of you. And when I was doing this spread, um, I actually have here the last card of the deck and this is the tower card now i also you know i tell this to everyone whenever i do readings not to be afraid of this card um yes it can be a trigger point of things falling down falling apart but the idea here is to disrupt a situation and to create changes and sometimes the changes can be quite sudden and abrupt and you know for some people that are um very not very flexible in life it's going to be very frustrating but um yeah this is just a trigger for change and i kind of feel that how this plays out for you in terms of your love life relationships or personal relationships it doesn't have to be in love affair alone because we are dealing with relationships here in general so it may play out in terms of friends as well or uh, work associates those type of people can play out in this reading all at the same time so um i would say that there could be changes especially um, with a situation that has been creating a long-standing stress for a lot of you guys or it could be that it is a time for you to um to move 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 past a certain area of your life and it doesn't always have to be a breakup but it can be um we are seeing here that there is going to be you know there is an exist existing problem this could be something that is already in your in your past but it's it is being highlighted again this month now we are we are seeing here that we have the first card which is the high priestess card this is a very psychic card very intuitive all at the same time so i would say that this is a point of your life wherein you have your own idea there is something that you want to do maybe it's like you know even if no one tells you what path it is that you have to take it's like this this card or this energy is like telling us that you are going to pursue something that you feel in a very intuitive level that you should do so um, I kind of feel that this can actually manifest in terms of career as well because we do have here the the Queen of Wands, which is another career-oriented kind of energy and it has a very individual kind of energy. You know, it's not really a card that relates too much to relationship, but, you know, it can actually play out in relationship as well. I'm just talking about, you know, let's ignore the rest of the cards and let's just focus on these two cards that we have these two cards are very much of a solo energy an energy of you know an, a very independent woman that kind of energy or independent man you know this can actually represent a man as well so you just have to do this in a vice versa kind of way so you don't have to be very much focused if i say it's a female or a male uh just to remove all of the confusion Again, um, tarot cards or any kinds of divination usually um, cannot really say whether it's talking about a male or a female. Not all the time because, you know, everything is energy. And each person has their own feminine energy and each per in and even um, women have a very masculine energy as well. So you just have to work your way around that and use your own intuition to where this is actually applying so like i said earlier there is a form of intuitive energy happening here and this can also be a situation wherein you may have found out something you might have you know 
The Five of Wands is a, a, a form of action or a struggle of some kind that is happening in your life. It could be that you know you might have found out something and you tried to argue or there has been some form of argument that is that is happening or this could be just a situation that um, triggers you to take action on a certain path in life so it doesn't always have to be an argument of some sort this could be a, a you know a pop of an idea that comes into your head and you you make you take action and you do something to work your way work your way around that and that is and the reason for this is because you feel that you know that something in your life is not working anymore and you, you have that intuitive energy that it's like you psychically know that things has to change and maybe you have already known this even months before that you know i have to change my life i have to change the things that i do i have to change this relationship however you were not really able to take action you know you tried to make to take to make the necessary changes but nothing really nothing really makes sense and nothing really happened during those times and i'm kind of feeling that this could be the month wherein you really take action and there's going to be some form of efforts being done here you know and this can also be a situation wherein it's telling us that whatever it is that you are wanting to take action on there is struggle right there it's not an easy path you know it's like for example you want to start a business it's not as if you can easily make a business all in one go and i'm not talking about the usual way of creating a business but i just kind of feel that this is a situation wherein you are being met by problems or struggle that you need to overcome you know so you are exerting more effort uh, with this but it's okay um you are in alignment with this energy there is something that is pushing you to take action there is something that is pushing you to to make the necessary changes and again this could be something that is happening to you in a very personal level in your career or even in the relationships so um yeah uh we do have here the ace of wands which which is a trigger for for change for trigger for a new beginning of some kind which is very very positive and i kind of feel that you know this is a situation wherein if things are not working out you know whatever it is that is not working out this is a time for you to to have a refresh you know a restart in things and this is something that you do and this has a lot of passion to it so it's not just a very intuitive feeling it's something that you know if you think in your head that i want to do this you are really going to do something about it because you are very passionate and it's not just in your head you have the energy and the capacity to take action this month whether you like it or not whether you're ready or not i kind of feel that you know there is something that's gonna push you um to make the necessary changes and like i said earlier we have here the four of cups you know in the position of the past that there is something that is unsatisfying for you maybe there is a form of dullness in your life or it could be a relationship that you feel is not working out which i already mentioned earlier so there there is a situation really that that is not um realistic anymore it's not working so th this is something that you have to change it could also be that you know you are having a lot of desires there's a lot of goals in life that you you want to manifest into the world and that is actually what what you want to 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 target or to have a goal in and we do have here the six of swords which is the energy of moving forward this is a very travel card movement of some kind so we are seeing here that you are definitely going to make changes or you are going into a path wherein some form of changes is going to happen or some form of movement in a in a very stagnant situation is going to occur with it's that with sorry with the queen of wands this is um 
a very um, upbeat energy, very, you know, very positive. I just kind of feel that, you know, you are in a point of your life where in anything can happen. And I kind of feel that it's easy for you to attract the things that you want. It's easy for you to pursue the things that you actually want. And a lot of opportunities can really come into your life right now. And the only problem here right now and your concern is that maybe there's a lot of things that are going on. There's a lot of, of happenings and you feel overwhelmed. Well, some of you might feel overwhelmed and that is the problem here. You need to, you know, it's not an a one go kind of thing it's not because you decide to take action you will get result i kind of feel that there is a repetitive energy here wherein you take action you make mistakes and then you repeat and do something again it's like the struggle is on that cycle but it doesn't mean that you won't have any results i just kind of feel that you know there's really an ongoing kind of energy here that you try to fix and fix until you get it right so that is really the main energy here. Now we do ha have here the King of Swords. Now this is a very um, highly mental energy. It can represent a person as well. This could be a scenario wherein you know you wanted to be connected with a certain person in your life and ma maybe that is your goal. Maybe you are in a relationship wherein you feel disconnected with your partner and that is what you want to change you know that is just a possibility so this could be a situation wherein you wanted to make a connection with that partner or with that person you know you want to have some form of communication with them having some form of alignment with them or this can also be a situation wherein you might need to talk with your partner or you need to talk to someone on where you stand in the relationship there's a need to have some form of understanding especially since we have here the ten of wands so there's some form of situation here that you need to talk things out with a certain person for you to actually move forward because there are some form of heaviness that is going on in the relationship and for you guys to have some form of understanding and union and to have a really clear picture of the relationship or you know it's like no trying to know what your plans are for the future and trying to know what their plans are for the future do you plan to marry me do you plan to have this relationship for the long haul or are you just dating me for the heck of it you know there's there's something that needs to have some form of understanding to make sure that the two of you are on the same page so um, this could also be a situation, another example where this can manifest is that maybe, maybe there was an argument, you know, you might have found out something, this could have triggered a lot of um, um, challenges in the relationship, quite passionate even, you know, so there's a lot of friction, possibly, which has led to um, feeling uncertain or insecure in the relationship even though you but i kind of feel that there is someone that wants to change that wants to improve that relationship this could be a scenario where you know someone tries to please you um making an effort to to fix the relationship trying to make amends in the relationship so there's going to be a factor whether you are appreciating all the efforts someone is doing and making for you or not so um yeah like i said this reading can go in different ways all i can say for sure is that you know there's going to be some form of um interference there could be problems going on in terms of relationships and communications there is a very fickle energy when it comes to, to communications which might lead uh this five of wands as well so um it could be uh, a situation that you might need to cut off someone as depending on where the conversation might lead or go. Definitely though, the key here is to change and disrupt the current dynamics of the relationship. Because with this reading, with the Sagittarius people that I'm picking up, it's not a kind of relationship wherein everything is happy. And if everything is happy for you, then you probably should skip on this video. 
because maybe it's not for you maybe i'm not tuning in with your own energy but the reading that i'm picking up here is for those who are having some form of issues and struggle in the relationship that is you know something that is evident that i'm seeing um especially for the month of december you know it's uh, a time for them to to either protect themselves and try to fight back or or have some form of willpower into the scenario for them to actually change things uh something like this you know there's a need for you to really um make a decision and try to work around with the relationship and this is not the time for you to really be passive with certain things there could even be you know delay of some kind it could be a delayed news or a news that gives some form of difficult energy and that is something that you might have to deal with for the month of december but the goal here is that to have some form of clarity and understanding into the situation so regardless of what you're going through right now regardless of whether you're single in a relationship in a complicated relationship or in a marriage any form of struggle that you are going to be experiencing the goal here is to have some form of harmony and understanding so um the actions or how you do things might be a little bit stressful but the goal here is for things to get better and, and for things to really go on track and if disruption or problems or argument needs to happen it will happen so remember you have the solar eclipse happening in your sign so an eclipse has triggers a lot of faded events and i'm not going to be surprised if a lot of sagittarius will will have various experiences in their life one way or another but the good news here is that this solar eclipse is actually very much harmonious in general it does make an aspect to neptune and i'm guessing that this is where the friction is coming from but it has a lot of form of energy which pushes one to to move forward with their life and you know i kind of feel that this is really the perfect way to to end the year of 2020 and if you do want to have a, a more healthy scenario healthy relationship with no baggage attached you know where nothing is holding you back or nothing is causing mental situation in you not causing any disruptions in your mind it will be the perfect time to initiate whatever it is that you have to do so that by entering 2021 everything can go into a clean slate which has a lot more positive energy in mind so um yeah i do believe though that eventually um for some people some sagittarius out there this might just lead to a very um happy outcome and for some people this could lead to uh, a situation that can create a lot of anger in them you know they might take action based on anger i would say for some people it really depends because we're dealing with a lot of sagittarius people out here so i'm just giving you all of the information that i'm picking up on where this can go but eventually this will all lead you to a new beginning of some kind that allows you to have a fresh start in in a relationship or with you as an individual so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and if you are new to my channel please do hit the like and subscribe button and make sure the bell is tick um and yeah for personal readings you can do that by emailing me in the stars by chrissy.com sorry in the stars at gmail.com my website is currently down i'm fixing it but i'll it should be up maybe after the solar eclipse time so um yeah see you guys again next year goodbye